Alright, so I'm going to show you how to find the higher order moments for Gaussian random variables. This is a very standard problem. So the random variable x is Gaussian with zero mean and variance of sigma squared. So this means of course expected value of x is zero and the variance of x is sigma squared. That's where we start with. And the density function of x is of course this bell-shaped curve. And what we are interested in is we want to find out all the moments of the Gaussian random variable. So easiest thing is to start with the characteristic function. This is by definition e raised to j omega x. Density function multiplied by e raised to j omega x. Let me show you how to simplify this quickly. So this is 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma squared integral e raised to minus x over 2 sigma squared x minus 2j sigma squared omega dx. To, to simplify this, I'm going to make the substitution y equal to x minus j sigma squared omega. So notice that uh, uh, so the uh, x becomes, we also want, so from here x is y plus y plus uh, j sigma squared omega and uh, x minus uh, 2j sigma squared omega of course becomes y minus j sigma squared omega. So this multiplied by this which is what we have becomes a plus b multiplied by a minus b so that's a squared minus b squared a squared is y squared b squared is this whole thing so and the limits are the same because uh, minus infinity plus infinity for y also. So you can see this quickly becomes y squared minus j squared is plus 1. So it's plus omega 4 sigma squared over 2 sigma squared dy. So you can see one constant goes outside. So this is now. Uh, e raised to uh, minus omega squared, uh, sigma squared omega squared by 2 minus infinity plus infinity. The remaining terms are just actually the density function because. All right, so the answer is the standard answer sigma squared omega squared by 2 is the characteristic function of uh, the Gaussian random variable. And this is where. Uh, we are going to start with. So uh, maybe let me just uh, clean this up. So to start with, we have the characteristic function of the uh, Gaussian random variable, the characteristic function e to the power j omega x to be e raised to minus sigma squared omega squared by 2. So let, let me expand the both the sides. So this is j omega x to the power k over k factorial. k goes from 0 to infinity. This is this side. And let me expand here. This is going to be <coughs> minus 1 to the power k, sigma 2 to the power k, omega 2 to the power k over uh, 2 to the power k and k factorial. k again goes from 0 through infinity. So notice that the left side, if you like, we can write in fact this as uh, uh, j to the power k over k factorial. We had omega k. Uh, we expect this whole thing is expected. So expected value is on xk. Notice on the left side and right side, left side you only have, you have all powers of k. On the right side you only have the even powers of x. So the first conclusion is all the odd order moments of x are uh, zero. Because they, all the, so this is the first conclusion from here. Because this expected value is actually going to hit this, uh, this one. So we have this identity. And now if you compare, if you compute, if you compare the even order moments, so put k equal to 2k on this slide. So j to the power 2k is minus 1 to the power k. Expected value of x to the power 2k, omega to the power 2k over 2k factorial equals we can look at the corresponding terms going to be minus 1 to the power k, sigma to the power 2k, 
omega to the power 2k over 2 raised to k k factorial so if i this gives us this relation it expected value of 2k from here is uh, 2k factorial over 2 to the power k k factorial sigma to the power 2k if you want we can quickly simplify the numerator because that's 1 2 3 4 So 1 to up to 2k divided by 2 to the power k, k factorial. So notice that here if I write this, if I pull, this 2 can be, I can pull out a 2, then this is becomes, this 2 becomes 1, here this 4 becomes 2 multiplied by 2, so this 4 goes out, 6 becomes 2 multiplied by 3, etc. This becomes k. So what you see is that uh, if you look at the odd powers that's actually 2 to the power k multiplied by k factorial cancels with this uh, so the result is actually simply a 1 3 5 7 etc up to 2k minus 1 to the power sigma to the power 2k this will be when k is uh, uh, k is even uh, to, to summarize for a Gaussian random variable with zero mean and variance sigma squared, all the odd order moments are zero and the even order moments are given by uh, the uh, this formula. Now if you we can use this to compute also the absolute value of the moments. So this is by definition <coughs> minus infinity to plus infinity. 1 over square root of 2 pi sigma squared x to the power k e raised to minus x squared by 2 dx. So I substituted for x to the power k. We can clearly see that uh, first of all when k is even the answer is here. So we only need to figure out what happens when k is odd. Uh, so when k is even of course it is the same formula. k is of the form 2n and you have this. So let's assume k is of the form uh, 2m plus 1. That's all we need here. So k is of the form 2m plus 1. So the, instead of this k, I'm going to substitute to also 2m plus 1. So first of all, notice that this is an even function on the right side. And uh, so I can write this as 2 times uh, uh, the integral from 0 to infinity. I pulled out the constant. Then this simply becomes x to the power uh, 2m plus 1 e raised to minus x squared by, uh, I'm sorry, x squared 2 sigma squared here, uh, dx. And I'm going to make the obvious substitution this equal to y. Uh, so y is, uh, I'm going to substitute uh, y equal to x squared over 2 sigma squared. So you can see dx will be 2 sigma squared, x dx will be, uh, uh, 2 cancels, 2 x dx will be sigma squared uh, dy, x dx will be sigma squared dy. So if I substitute all this here, this simply becomes square root of uh, 2 over pi, 1 over sigma squared. X squared, x squared is going to be 2 sigma squared inside the integral. Limits are still 0 to infinity. This is 2 sigma squared y to the power m because x squared is 2 sigma squared y. And x dx is here sigma squared dy. So sigma squared uh, dy. Uh, so notice that in the denominator here, in fact, there is only, uh, uh, this is inside the square root here. So there is only one sigma. So this sigma cancels with this sigma. And uh, so the answer is uh, 2 to the power m sigma to the power 2m plus 1. Then you have square root of 2 over pi. Then what remains is integral 0 to infinity y to the power m 
uh, there is also e raised to minus y here so e raised to minus y dy but this whole thing is m factorial so i'm just going to write down the final result would be this thing multiplied by m factorial so this will be the moment when uh, for odd values of uh, odd moments of the absolute moments and even moments are given by this formula